Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we are going to talk about business object in VBCS. Why we are using business object and what is the use, all the details we are going to learn in this video. So let's begin. In VBCS, business object is a resource that stores data for an application. It is similar type like data table we have that business objects have the field that provide the structure of the business processes just like we have table in the table we have the field like columns different different columns the same as business object we have in vbcs business objects are stored in database same as the table we have database and database we can have different different objects one of the object is table so same in business object we have the table structure where we are going to store visual builder application data into the specific business object in form of table in visual builder cloud services business objects are accessed using rest api whenever we are talking about business object business objects are stored in database business object in visual builder are set of field upon which users may perform card operation just like insert update delete and all so here you can see i will show you the example where we created one registration form and here you can see user enter the data and whenever user will click on the submit the data should be insert somewhere in the database in vbcs we have database that is known as business object so whatever data we are going to provide from the front end from the web page the same data will be inserted into business object business object having different different components like fields security business rules and points data source so here you can see we in the form we are inserting this data and this data is going to insert in the business object having all the columns whenever we are talking about components as i just told you you we have various components like fields security so same we have the relationship fields security business rules and point data source everything we are going to explain in this video then in next video we will create separate business object and we'll show you how we are going to use that business object in vbcs let's move to the ui part so here you can see this is our visual builder oracle visual builder in the oracle visual builder we you can see that we created one web page this is the registration form and for this page we have business object so how you can access the business object so you can see this is the web page icon once you will click here you will be able to see the web application inside that web application we have the main and main side we have main start page same as here we have the business object icon so once you will click on this database icon this is business object and in the business object you can see we created one business object name as employee bio once you will click on this employee bio business object you will be able to see the details of the object so once you will go for overview you will be able to see the details the name of business object and the display name so this business object is same as the table we have in the database this business object we are going to use in the vbcs page so this data we are going to insert in the business object so here in business object we have fields fields means we have columns so here you can see we created columns like employee name employee id email department mobile number and each and every business object having one default column that is id this is auto generated and yes after that id we have few more columns that is known as who columns that created by creation date last updated by last updated date so these all five columns are populating by default whenever we are creating any business object and the rest of the column we have to create manually by clicking on this plus icon i will show you in next video all these things in this video just i am going to give you basic overview about business object and in terms of security if you will go to the security we have option to expose this data expose this business object with the security level so here you can see we can provide the security to access this business object only to the authenticated user or the anonymous user or anyone can access this business object as i told you in the definition business object can be accessible using rest api in vbcs so whatever business object we created all the columns or the table will be accessible using rest api and that is known as the end point here so once you will click here in the end point you can see this is the details if you will go to the overview we have the method as post for creating updating end point if you will go you can see this is the end point 
this is the end point of this business object employee business object and here you can see the employee bo having the two default endpoint that is the get get for getting all the employee details present in that business object post for creating the data creating the records in the business object and get patch and delete here you can see get one update delete operations all these things we can perform using the endpoint so once you will click on any of that it will be exposed as an api you will be able to see so if you will go to the request you can see that url this is the url this is the rest url for accessing that details for exposing the database exposing the business object in response you can see what kind of data they are going to return all this time structure even we can test here our api api for the endpoint all the details we have here we have business rule in business rule we have different different kinds of business rules so you can see in the business rule we having the object trigger we having the fields trigger we having the object validators having the field validators and the object function these all are the triggers so you are aware about the triggers so whenever we want to perform any operation on that specific event we can define the object here that can be insert of the data so suppose whenever we want that whenever data is going to insert in the table perform some validation perform some operations so all these things we can do using the business rules then we have data so whatever data we have for this table for this business object all will we can see here so here you can see this is the same data i used to provide from the form you can see this is the same data we have in the database i use for the sample purpose here you can see we have the department name department column email employee id employee name all these things even we can add the more columns here so if you will see here we have the filter and here if you will select that one created by we will be able to see the created by column created date you can see last updated date last updated by created if you will go you can see the one more column will be added the creation date even we can hide the column from here so if you will see mobile number will be hide from this but yes this will be in the database but it will not visible here in the data section and in last we have source so we know that whatever we are going to perform whatever activity we are going to do in the visual builder for each and every component for each and every design we have the code so as we created the business object this business object having the columns for that visual builder automatically generates the code and we can see the code by click on the source icon so once you will click on the source tab you will be able to see so here you can see under the fields we have the column so you can see this is the column name as id the type of the column is number and all the details it's unique yes true all these things here we have the column name creation date last updated date created by here you can see the employee id employee name email all the details all the columns we created here all the privileges all the setups whatever we have done so here you can see why we are using that one so suppose this is our form and whenever user will enter any data that data should be insert in this bo or it means the insert into the table so let me show you the real time example so this is the design i am going to run this application so it will take some time to reload the application so once the application will be reloaded we will insert the data and we'll see so here you can see we have the form let me insert the details the details that zafar alam i am going to insert email employee id e002 mobile number let me give 12312312324 email zafar at gmail.com and department let me give department at d002 and once i will submit the data will be inserted into this bo i design in such a way that once insertion will be completed it will show the message record inserted successfully and if we will move to the business object here you can see employee bo and the refresh we will be able to see one more records here you can see d002 the name zafar at gmail.com e002 zafar alam this data we can export or even we can import data here so for exporting the data here you can see we have the icon once we will click here this data will be exported in csv format so just click here and here you can see data inserted once we will click here and let me show you the data here you can see 
we have the same data exported here with all the columns and same as we exported we can import the data into business object so how we can do so let me remove this additional column right id also i don't want to provide here and here instead of this two let me add data like employee id e003 name suraj verma email suraj at gmail.com mobile number 3213213214 and the department suppose d002 same as let me add another records that is e004 and here let me give as pankaj and the email let me put that at yahoo.com mobile number 4321431111 and department as d003 and if we want to import this data into the business object let me save this csv the name of csv is employee bo and this is in the download folder so let me move to the business object here and for importing here we have the import icon once we'll click here it will ask us to upload the file so here we have option that we can append the records or even if the same record will be there we can append we can replace so we'll go for the drag and drop so that we can select the file i will go to the download and in download we have the employee bo.csv we'll go for okay and we will click on this import so you can see it's data importing right now and you can see we successfully imported all your data and everything is done just click on close once we will go for close and once we will reload the business object new record will be inserted here you can see d002003 previously record deleted because we use replace if we use append the previous record will be there so suppose we have this record and if we will import the data again here by selecting the same and instead of replace if i will get go for append the same record will be inserted again and there you can see there are total four records and this id automatically generated so this is the complete details about business object we can add the relationship for the object suppose we have two business object like employee and department and we can create relationship between these two business object all the deals we can do so thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries and you want to ask anything related to vvs don't worry about that just put a comment don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thank you again for watching this video